All right, let's talk about Ray De Reyes. Now, wait, hold on. Before we even get into it, number one, the weather really hurt the show. It did. And I believe, I'm, I'm not going to blame any of them. It was the weather. It was, it was raining and windy the entire time. Let's put it this way. Veracruz, their driest month is March. Their second driest month is February. And I think all the weather fell on that night. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I, I legitimately think they had the worst possible luck for this show. Yeah, by the main event, it was like it was pouring. It was. And um, the Kingo, bless their hearts, they did a really good job. But you could tell that the Kingo was making sure that he had the right footing because, you know, professionals. Um, also, the English commentary, despite the little hiccup before where you could hear both of them was... One million percent better. Mm -hmm. They were informed. They explained it really well. And I think if you turned away, you knew what was happening oh, with yeah. the action. So once again, a big, big up. Yeah, big up. Even though we were not hired, but it is what it is. We were actually considered. So uh, keep that in mind. You can go, go and complain to them. Me <laughs> that we were not hired. So let's talk about. Well, I would have worn. I would have worn my Bigfoot shirt. If, right. If, if they were. So let, let's let's talk about um, the two main segments because I only have one picture because I didn't care to do the other. So Ray Phoenix was the opening segment, basically stating that because of the arm injury, he was not able to compete right. in the match. And so they had to change a match to do a one on one instead of a tag. Which is right. fine. So, as he was talking, he introduced uh, Taya Valkyrie mm -hmm. and Pentagon for Taya Valkyrie to make her official um, coming back party. So, it was Taya Valkyrie, Flamir, Marvia. It's actually not Lady Marvia, but Lady Shawnee was not in this match. It was um, Kira. Mm -hmm. Kira. Uh, Kira. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I, Kira's Kira. I'm sorry. Like Kylie and Kaylee Ray. No, they're different. No, I was. I no, I was gonna say I have Death Note on my mind when I see that. Kira. Yeah, right. No, it's Kira. Um, this match was a fucking I'm gonna cure mess. You in a second. This match was a mess. It was terrible. It was sloppy. I had no idea what was happening half the time. It was sloppy. Poorly paced, um, the announcing because they had the you can hear both commentators at full blast was incredibly distracting. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then it's like you can hear like four commentators with two different languages trying to talk over each other. To yeah, that was fine. Well, it was distracting for me, <laughs> especially because I was making food at this point. But yes, it was um it was Ty Valkyrie hitting the road to Valhalla for her to become number one contender. Duh. It was not surprising there. Yeah. It was good seeing Taya Valkyrie with this, and I kinda like I did this. So Taya Valkyrie was born in Canada, lives in the United States, and in Mexico, and she cut a promo in Spanish. Yeah, that's kinda how it works. I kind of like that whole North American scene right there. Might as well have the show in, um, uh, 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 like, uh, not Mexico, Central American country, and you kind of hit all parameters there. I want to try that again. Anyways, let's not try that again. Let's move on to the next match. Mexico is not a part of Central America. <sighs> depends on who you talk to, Adam. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just talking about in general. It depends on who <laughs> you talk to. I'm not being racist. This is how it is. No, I mean Mexico could be a part of uh, could be a part of Latin America, which is I would then say Latin is. America. They're a part of Latin America. They're not a part of Central America. They're different. Mm, I don't know. Anyways, let's talk about later. <laughs> All right. Um. Disorganized mess because this was what the uh, the triple tag. Oh yeah, so this this, is, this was the mixed tag. Yeah, this was the one with like the stupid like referee rivalry. Who cares? Yes. Um, the problem was is that Los Vampires they did the segment right before this match, right? right? And then they went to the back, this and then two of like them that. went out. It was super weird. It was weird. Also, this was not billed. 
for the trios or for the mixed tag. No. At all. Like, at all. No. And that was really unfortunate. So I kind of wish they kind of built that a little bit more, but it is what it is. Yeah. Let's talk about this one. Once again, uh, Willie Mack was replaced by Mrs. S. Jr. They did the best given the circumstances. I thought it was okay. I mean, I liked the spot with the mini. Yes, um, that was we didn't even talk about that. Uh, Microman was yes, out there. Yes, Microman was out. Yes. It was uh, so adorable. He is, he is the shortest luchador. I think his dad is shorter, isn't he? No, he's not. No, but but he was picked like a puppy. Yes. It was amazing. Uh, fun fact, he is, um, so with Crotch Dog, Crotch Dog from his front paws up to the top of his head was about what? A, a foot. Foot? One foot. A foot and some change? Well, one foot. He was two foot, like, laid out, like, splayed out. Right. Um, Microman could not, he didn't have to bend down to pet the dog. Let's put it that way. Right. Um, also, his dad is the Blue Monkey. On in CMLL. Yes. Also, he was trained by um, his father's good friend Ultimo Guerrero. Mm -hmm. Actually. Anyways, let's not, not talk, let's stop talking about midgets. Other than that, this was a fun match. I kind of wish the um, promo and what happened was consistent, mm -hmm. and the tax spot was not necessary unless it was the final spot of the match. Right. It was, it was unnecessary. Then it would have been fine. Yeah. Anyways, move on to the next one. I want to go bad. I know. I do. So, um, once again, why was Lady Maravilla taken out? There was no explanation for that nope. because that's what they built. Um, Taya Valkyrie was originally scheduled to be in a Reina de Reina's match at mm -hmm. this show. And then she was scheduled in this match on this show. Yep. And then they took her out of the promo of this show wanting to do a mystery person there's no point there's no point Anyways. there was no point um the whole match was a fucking mess it was i would have done everything differently with this taya valkyrie would have come out last i would have done the stupid promo with her and i would have once again i would have had her win but i feel like there was an injury yeah. because like halfway through the match two of them just left yeah it was kind of weird I'm like, ooh, something. I, I've uh, like during the match. I'm like, something went wrong. Right. Like the entire time. <sighs> you can tell Peanut Gallery is starting to tuck her out here. Um, I would have done really anything differently with this. I thought it was structured really well. It was a well. really good match with uh, with um, Lon Press in it, which is this was this was this was much better. It was much better than their uh, Triple Mania Regia nonsense match. Oh yeah, I thought it was structured better. I thought it was fought better. And honestly, the problem is is that I feel like the whole L.A. Park and Rio de Jalisco Junior. whatever from. Uh, Triple Mania yeah. was wasted oh, yeah, because absolutely. it didn't happen again. It's like, okay, yeah. we have them wrestle, but who cares? Yeah. This was actually not a bad match. Yeah. I kind of, I, I, I well, wish. It was messy. It was a messy match. I wish the. It, it should have been explained a little bit better, I think. Yep. It wasn't explained very well. It's like, what is it? Is it elimination? The, the, the one, the one thing about WWE that's so clear because they really, they really emphasize the global expansion of Triple I. Mm -hmm. But when you do that, there's an expectation of what to do, and explaining rules for certain matches or certain rivalries on the screen clearly has to be something and making Even sure it's done in Spanish and in English. It doesn't right. matter to me. Right. Um I think that would have made this a lot better because once again we had a conflicting thing where uh we clearly heard elimination mm -hmm. but then all of a sudden Psycho Clown could do one thing in one. Like right. period. It was super this weird. It doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. Um, the right people, I think, overall were in this match. I just don't think the winner was the right call. Because Psycho Clown did not have to win this. He's an established main eventer already. You need to put somebody in this that has never either gone, won, 
or have been in a high-profile match like this. Everybody else but Bandito was within that parameter. That's how I'm a former ROA champion, but he's a current. That was weird too. Yeah, uh, Bandito still has the current, well, current um, Ring of Honor World Champion. That title unification match is not happening until Supercard of Honor. So that was really weird too. I didn't even think about that. They did the best of what they could do based on the circumstances. It was a good match. I like the rivalry. I like the premise. I hope they do a rematch. But for God's sake, Phoenix, stay healthy. This is like the fourth fucking injury that I am aware of since he has joined AEW. And it's getting really frustrating. Not his fault, though. Also, the, the, the ending was a mess. I would have done that. I would have done that much differently. I wouldn't have done a damn thing different with this other than maybe a different venue. But that's a totally different situation. Um, the right people, the right winner, the right title, the right placement. Yep. And also, you just know that if this was in a closed dome or if it was a nice night out. I want to see them, I want to see them battle it out again, man. This, this is going to be a triple media. It has to be. Oh, God, Especially yes. given that circumstances. They pulled off a good match. During bad weather. Think of what they do during a controlled environment. Right. You know that's going to be a big winner. So I wouldn't have done anything different. Anyway, Peanut Gallerio. What are we doing next week? To be determined. To be determined. We have a couple of ideas rolling around. But if you enjoy the show, remember to like, subscribe, follow, share with all your friends, become a patron. Links all around down below. Peanut Gallery will... <laughs> You can see part of it. Um, out of his shirt. And as always, be majestic.